Hello, my name is Melody and my partner is Ben and our project is called Find the Way where we are improving outpatient wayfinding through personalized navigational assistance for individuals living with mild cognitive impairment. So a brief overview of the problem. To start off, spatial cognition impairments and difficulties navigating are often early signs of mild cognitive impairment and are very common for patients who have MCI. Uh, depend additionally, on top of that, dependency on others for daily living tasks such as navigation is a significant, a significant factor that negatively influences physical and emotional health. So our overall aim of this project is to empower navigational independence by allowing people with MCI to travel and visit the doctor in an outpatient environment independently. So to talk through our prototype, we have different aspects. To start off, we'll discuss the personalized aspect of it. Um, when a patient is first registered in our system, they're able to go in and select a personalized avatar to be their guide through their na navigational journey. Um, in designing these avatars, we wanted them to be relatable and memorable. We wanted them to be visible without any loss of meaning. Uh, we also wanted them to not be confused with medical signage and we wanted them, each of the individual avatars, to stand alone and not be confused with each other. In terms of our overall system, a patient is registered with our system. They receive an RFID wristband in the mail. Um, on the day of their journey, they wear their wristband to the hospital and they're able to receive assistance throughout their journey with the wristband in conjunction with kiosks that are located at navigational decision points throughout the hospital. So on the left hand side you see the wristband and you see the the iPad stand which is our kiosk. Once a patient goes to scan in they get they see their avatar that they initially selected and directional guidance to decide which way to go to get to their destination. Um, in addition to the in-hospital system we also developed an app a prototype app that the patients can use prior to the appointment. Um, in the app, they have the option to practice navigation where they can go in, select their start location, select their end location, and click through their navigational journey to gain familiarity of the environment. And so the first floor plan basically shows how we color coded the hospital. So there are several sections divided based on the function. And in each section, they will have their own color as the, as the interior. So people can have the memorable ref reference point. And the second floor plan basically shows how doctors and maybe the care partners can track. So it shows where the patient started from and ended up with. Great. Now we're going to talk through the prototype and show what it looks like. Um, there are two visuals. The first is the patient, what the patient sees, and the second is what a clinician or care partner will see, which Ben will walk through. So let's pretend that we're the patient. We're on the registration and login screen. Uh, let's go ahead and register this patient. We enter some gen generic information, whatever's needed. Um, next, we're prompted to select our avatar. Exciting. Uh, we'll go with the rabbit because it's fun and is cute. Um, next, at the welcome screen, there are a few options. The first is to practice navigation, like we mentioned. There's also an option for instructions and frequently asked questions, which guides the patient on how to actually use their wristband with the in-hospital system. Um, but let's check out the practice navigation. So we're prompted to select a start location. The default is the parking lot because that's where most people will start. But you could also start at the lobby or any other location listed. You select your end location, which is automatically populated with your upcoming appointment um, and the location of that. But there are also other options to travel to the bathroom or cafeteria, which are common places that a patient might be traveling to. Um, once you put in the input and your destination, then there are guides to visualize what your journey might look like. That include kiosk locations um, to familiarize oneself with that and also just highlighted locations to help note where things are. Um, additionally, the avatar is located throughout to help with that guidance. Um, and you, the patient is able to note the different color coordinated areas um, that Ben mentioned in the mapping system. 
there's also the option to change the navigation at any point as well. Um, but that will show you the clinician side as well. So we have the same setup. So we first log in. Then, so this part is for the care partners and the doctors to be able to easily track the patients. So let's go to the location tool. So when we get into it, it basically shows the hospital floor plan. And as I mentioned before, we can track the patient where they started from. So we know which kiosk they used and which kiosk they ended up using. And it also defines which part, they, which kiosk was used, was not used. So we can easily predict which area that people are staying. Awesome. That is a demonstration of our prototype. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you on the day of.